Makatibu uandamizi katika wizara ya viwanda na biashara na uwekezaji waliwazidisha mapendekezo yao mbele ya kamati ya biashara na viwanda katika bunge la kitaifa wakati serikali ya kitaifa inatayarisha na kufanyia mageuzi bajeti ya mwaka 2022 mwaka 2023 We are looking at the supplementary budget uh, that is the revised budget between for between now and June uh, this year and uh, all the state the mds uh, within the ministry of uh, trade and industry have been available have been around we had uh, two pss the ps for industry and the ps for investment promotion the third ps uh, for trade was is currently away in the us um, on trade matters that is on uh, issues to do with the government uh, government uh, uh, executive work Naibu mwenyekiti wa kamati ya biashara na viwanda Mary Ann Kaitany anafichua kuwa wizara serikalini zina nafasi ya kufanyia marekebisho bajeti ya serikali ambayo hupewa wizara serikalini kufadhili shughuli na miradi ya wizara kwa asilimia kumi. I think we remember that uh, we had uh, the launch of the Hasla fund it was not a budgetary item in the last financial year and that is an item that we are going to then um, um, regularize in this supplementary budget. And, but we are happy so far in terms of uh, the budget estimates and the uh, actual usage. They are within the limits. There is, um, there is nothing to worry about. Keitanyi hata hivyo, alisifia wizara ya viwanda na biashara huwa zimetumia mugao ambao zilipokea kutoka kwa serikali kiustarabu. Um, about eight counties that need to, to, to grow cotton and the budgets that had been placed uh, or put to help with the growing of cotton had been slashed. So it's one of the areas we have asked that it be revised because we need to grow that industry of cotton. And also we need uh, the company Rivertex to also look at other products that are outside cotton that is uh, products like wool and um, either mwakilishi wa county ya Vihiga Beatrice Adagala Mary Ann Kaitany na mbunge Adam Skipsanai walipinga kuhamishwa kwa kiwanda cha Rivertex kutoka na kurohadi muji wa Naivasha wakihojikuwa kiwanda hicho hutoa nafasi za ajira kwa wakazi wa Maharibi na Bonde la Ufa so one of the pro proposals that they brought up is uh, the movement of uh, Rivertex from uh, Eldoret to Naivasha we have categorically told them that that cannot happen unless we do through public participation but from where I sit and from where I come from uh, Rivertex as the name suggests is Rift Valley Textile that is an industry that had collapsed and it was revived and uh, the people of that region are already benefiting from that particular product um, in terms of getting another factory a factory in Naivasha what we have, the committee have suggested, is that they can actually get um, a subsidiary of Rivertex in Naivasha. Hata hivyo wanachama wa kamati hiyo wameishinikiza wizara ya viwanda kuhakikisha kuwa bei ya kawi njini haiwaadhiri wawekezaji wanawekeza wakihoji kuwa hilo litawafanya wengi wa wawekezaji kuhamia mataifa ambayo ya medibiti bei ya umeme. You need to have a cost of uh, production coming down and one of the major costs of production that industry has complained about is cost of electricity. We know that Kenya Power are in the process of trying to get uh, to increase power and they are already doing public participation because they want to increase the cost of power. But what we have challenged our, our PSS in the ministry is that you are the PS responsible for industry. You are the PS responsible for investment. How is investment going to come if your cost of production is going to go up? How are you going to promote industry if our cost of production is going to go up? While our neighboring country in Ethiopia is only about 8 US cents, an investor would go to Ethiopia as opposed to come to Kenya. Wizara ya viwanda na ile ya biashara zimepewa majukumu ya kuhakikisha kuwa wawekezaji wanaotazamia kuwekeza nchini wanapata leseni zao kwa wakati unaofaa. People are taking 2 to 3 years uh, to actually invest in Kenya. I came across and then my industry, sector for industrialization is here, a Portuguese company that has been trying to come in and make electric cars since 2019. Since 2019. And uh, last week they came to us and they're still looking for license too.
to move. So you can see that we are talking about two to three years, but I know that what Kidenda said and our peers for investment, we will see how to cut down that to, to, to the interest. If you look at uh, the conflict of interest that we are talking about, it's very traumatic. If you think about East Africa, Portland, Chair, uh, uh, we have a number of cabinet memos that we'll be preparing on a number. East Africa and Portland has been uh, one of those teething problems. As we say now, the, the annual loss is in the tune of 10 billion, maybe going up. Uh, there's restructuring, but it's not worked. So, so that has been one area. Numerical machines, I think, uh, and a number of other. Numerical machine is a very good thing if we can pump in the kind of money that they are looking for to really function. As government, we can't do it. But if they get.